guys. Uh, so, a while back I did a countdown of my favorite rustic schoolies. And since then I got a few requests to do a countdown of my favorite short bus conversions. Uh, there are no real criteria for this. Th these are just my personal favorites. And it was hard to choose because I follow a lot of awesome conversions. If you want more than what's in this list, what I would suggest doing is going to our Instagram page, that's at rolling underscore vistas, and of course follow us. But then check out the, in the top right, I think, the following button. And we follow almost exclusively bus conversions, van conversions, and travel accounts. So you're gonna find some gems in there. It's worth, it's worth peeking around. So at number 10, I have for you the Bodhi bus. It's at Bodhi bus. And that's short for Boda Cheetah. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I was looking everywhere. But I had to look up what Bodhicitta is. So Bodhicitta is a spontaneous wish to attain enlightenment motivated by great compassion for all sentient beings accompanied by a falling away of the attachment to the illusion of an inherently existing self. There are a lot of things I like about this bus. First, obviously, the woodwork. I love, they have so much character in this bus with the live edges. I don't even know how they made that roof deck like with the live edges meeting each other like that and it's just it's just gorgeous and they have rails up there and when they're parked they secure hammocks up there and it just kind of looks like the life not only do they have just a stunning bus with so much character but they have really beautiful travel photography too so should, you should definitely follow them on instagram at Bodhi bus a few more interesting things about this bus um, it took four and a half months to convert, which seems really fast. Um, it's a four window. And I love how they trim the exterior of the windows in wood. Uh, the other thing I like about this bus is they have a layout that you can walk all the way through the bus and actually use that back exit. At number nine, I have a really cute bus, Journey Homemade. Uh, this is Jennifer. She's an artist and she makes beautiful prints. She has original art for sale too and home goods and mugs and pillows and anything you could want. Um, I'll put a link to that stuff below. She calls her bus Cozy the Bus, which I think is apt. And she shares it with Fergus the Cat. Oh, and look, she uses a goal zero too. I just love this like cottage vibe she has going on with all these light, beautiful, beachy textures. And one of the coolest things she did, she covered up some of the wiring around her ceiling with uh, these painted whitewashed vines, which it just, it just, it goes in there perfectly. And I thought it was a really great idea that I might have to borrow. So this bus is about 89 square feet. I also wanted to mention how much I love the way she uses sticks and natural materials um, to for form and function in this space. Overall, I think she's got a really cool aesthetic and a great eye with her bus and her photography, so you should check her out. Alright, at number 8, we have the Oki Nomads. Okie Nomads, they're on Instagram, but they also have a YouTube channel with some really gorgeous drone footage. And there's my Kudzu Monster sticker on their fridge. They also have a Rolling Vista sticker on the back. We have, we've traded stickers with the Okie Nomads and we have their sticker on our garage door. And let us know if you want to trade stickers with us. We ran out, but we've ordered some more, so we're good. I'll also link to their blog below. There's a really freaky blog post you should read um, about a bear encounter that they had. So you should check that out. You're, you'll learn this about me, I'm sure. Um, bears are my number one 
number one fear. Uh, that and sharks, but I have an easier time staying out of the ocean than I do, you know, not hiking. So we've had actually several bear encounters ourselves in Colorado, but they've all been black bears. I'm a little nervous about once we make it up into grizzly bear country, but you should check out that post. It was very interesting <laughs> to say the least. A little more information about this bus if you're looking to convert a short bus. This one is a 2000 Chevy 3500 short bus. I also want to point out that cute little intimate dinette. I really wanted that in our bus, but it didn't work out. Um, anyway, these guys have a great YouTube channel. They have great photos on Instagram and a really well-written blog. So definitely check them out. All right, number seven, we have Eldon the bus. Eldon the bus has like pretty much my favorite exterior. I love their logo font and I love their paint job and I love their little deck on top. Uh, when we were trying to decide what our bus should look like, we were struggling to not have it look too much like Eldon the Bus because we love it so much and we didn't want to copy them. Um, also like their interior, it's just very simple and clean and you see where their priorities are. Check out this awesome liquor shelf they have and look at all that gin! We need to be friends. And they have a super cute dog named Cilantro. Aww. So we actually got our idea for our roll-up curtains from Eldon the Bus. Um, I also really like uh, that they collect patches instead of stickers. I think that's really neat. Um, finally, I think it's cool that even in this very short bus, they've made space for like a workspace, a desk. And I feel like that's something a lot of tiny houses leave out that was at least important to me and Zach. So Eldon the Bus, definitely one of my faves. Check them out. Alright, number six is Green Bus and Us. This is a family of three living in 60 square feet. Uh, they have a really beautiful bus. I love the white tile. I like a lot of things about this one too. Um, and Shelby, the mom, is an artist. She sells really beautiful watercolor and acrylic floral paintings on her Etsy shop and on her website, so I'll be sure to link to that below. I love these strip lights that they have adhered to the top there. I think that's super smart. Um, I also really like how their couch turns into a dinette. I think it's really smart how they use these um, brackets that you can find at the hardware store, like in the closet section. I'm not sure what they're called, but I feel like that was a really simple, elegant solution there. Number five is Fresh Air Vlog. Uh, they're on Instagram, they also have a YouTube, and I'll link to all of that. I love their exterior. I love all the colors. I, it's just amazing. Um, some other things I like about their bus is the uh, Velcro bug screens on their windows. Zach and I have been trying to figure out the best way to do some removable um, screens on our windows for bugs and I'm really digging this idea we might have to copy that they also use these long ottomans that go under the bed for clothes storage I think it's actually the same people that make my small ottomans so I'll put a uh, Amazon link to that below if you're interested they even have a surprise under this bench hidden toilet um, and you should check out their blog for real because they have an interesting story of, about a porta potty mishap. Um, so check them out, their fresh air blog. At number four, we have an Instagram account called Lindsay My Nat. I don't know if My Nat's. The last name um, but they have a website too so I will put that below as well I really like following these guys because their photography is just gorgeous they also have like a really simple nice bus and I have to say I love the barnwood doors they have there 
Their bus is a 2001 Bluebird Mini Bird. And if I were doing a short bus, I would totally look for this model because I just love those harsh angles. I think it has so much more personality. All right, number three. I know you've heard of them. These guys have 100,000 followers on Instagram and for good reason. This is Fern the Bus. Their bus is just, I don't, it's just perfect. Like it's, it's very simple, but it's beautiful. There's no fuss to it. It's just great. They also have great travel photos, so that's a reason to follow them right there. And check out Penny, that's their cute little dog. And I'm gonna put a bonus one for you here. Um, this is the Always Home Bus. I'm putting this in there because they are friends with Fern the Bus, which is so cool. They have kind of similar school buses. They're equally awesome in different ways. And they post photos together and they're about the same size and everything, similar layout. Um, and Always Home Bus has Sully the dog, which I just love. Um, a few quick things I'd like to mention about Always Home Bus. Um, they're actually the bus that gave us the idea that we could do like a small little L-shaped couch. Um, I think that does a lot for the space. And by having an L-shaped kitchen, it really makes their kitchen feel bigger and like a separate space. Finally, my favorite thing about Always Home Bus, which is unique from Fern the Bus, or really any other bus I've seen out there, is that they did these angled walls to the, to the bedroom. I feel like that's a really smart way to have a separate space, but also not make it feel closed off. So I really like both Fern the Bus and Always Home Bus. And I just think it's so cool that they travel together. I hope one day we have a bus twin. And number two, I have an account called the White Elephant X. This bus has just got these beautiful, clean, nautical vibes that I am I adore. Um, and check out their dog, Everest, enjoying the bus life. I like how they've got this little movable table around their couch. It kind of looks like an Ikea table that we have right now and that they just added a piece of wood to. They may have made it custom, I'm not sure, but I really like it. They keep their cooler fridge in the couch, which I think is a really smart design and it probably helps the cooler stay cooler. And I'm just obsessed with these dark woods against the white. It's just, it's stunning. They, I love their fabric choices. They have great photos. Definitely follow them. That's at the White Elephant X. All right, at number one, I have, and again, this is just my personal favorite short bus. No real criteria here except for what Tiffany likes. Uh, this is Adventuring with Lola. Uh, this bus is just so cute and feminine and I just love the color of it outside. I adore those pink curtains and just kind of imagine them blowing in the wind and being so charming. I love the wreath that she's got up there. I like that she, instead of like building out a dinette, um, that she just used like a bistro table with chairs because it kind of makes it feel more like a cottage than a bus. A few more things I like about the Lola bus. Um, she made room for a bathroom. She used these tin tiles around her bathroom, which I think is a, has a really cool look and is probably pretty inexpensive. Um, she tiled her stair entrance, which I think is just really neat. I haven't seen that before. And finally, this is another bus uh, that I really like the layout of because she designed her bed to where she can have it as two couches and walk all the way through her bus or have it as a bed. So I really like the use of that back door. But one of the biggest reasons I love adventuring with Lola is because this girl's a badass. She bought this bus herself at age 18. I think she did most of the conversion herself. Um, she's an entrepreneur. She's got an Etsy shop, which I'll link to below. And I'm just in love with this bus and this account. So you should definitely follow her at Adventuring with Lola. All right, I hope you guys liked this countdown. Um, it's hard to narrow them down because I know there's a lot of cool builds out there. So if there's somebody I didn't mention that you love, please put it in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Remember to check out uh, our following section on Instagram if you want to find some more cool bus builds. Thanks again, guys. Until next time.